Hey guys, let us discuss about uh, other group of drugs called as bisphosphonates. Bisphosphonates. Okay. So first let me list down the important drugs which are present in this category. The first one is alendronate. Alendronate. The second one is ibandronate. Ibandronate. And third one is risidronate. Risidronate. And the last one is zolidronate. Fourth one is zolidronate. So these are the four important drugs we have to discuss in the category of bisphosphonates. Okay. So what is the function of bisphosphonates? The bisphosphonates are responsible for inhibiting, inhibiting osteoclastic activity, osteoclastic activity. So remember it inhibits osteoclastic activity so let us discuss in detail about the mechanism of action mechanism okay so remember bisphosphonates are structurally similar to pyrophosphates structurally similar structurally similar to pyrophosphates okay and uh, mainly they bind tightly to hydroxy apatite crystals in the bone binds tightly tightly to hydroxy apatite crystals crystals in bone very important for you to remember guys so therefore by adhering to bone matrix these bisphosphonates inhibit osteoclasts and therefore reducing bone resorption the oral effect is reducing bone resorption Okay, they are structurally similar to pyrophosphates. They bind tightly to hydroxy apatite crystals in the bone. And by adhering to the bone matrix, this bisphosphonate inhibits osteoclast by reducing bone resorption. So mainly the overall net effect by this mechanism of action is preservation of the bone mass as well as the structure. So this is the mechanism. So therefore, let us trace down what are the clinical uses over here. So, what are the clinical uses? Clinical uses. Let us discuss one by one. The most important clinical use is the osteoporosis. Right? Osteoporosis. Because it is decreasing bone resorption. So, therefore, it is used in osteoporosis. Not only for the treatment, it is also used to prevent osteoporosis, we can say, especially useful in the postmenopausal woman and second indication is hypercalcemia hypercalcemia second indication is hypercalcemia mainly useful in hypercalcemia particularly in the malignancy associated cases and um, the third indication is the paget's disease of bone paget's disease of bone pages disease of bone mainly because it helps to control the abnormal bone remodeling and it is also useful in metastatic bone disease metastatic bone disease so mainly because for cancer metastasis to bone it can be administered and also it is given 
in osteogenesis imperfecta osteogenesis imperfecta may be used in some cases mainly to increase the bone strength so these are the main indications or we can say the clinical uses of bisphosphonates okay so let us uh, discuss about the adverse effects here adverse effects adverse effects of the bisphosphonates okay now one of the important uh, adverse effect is the esophagitis esophagitis right particularly this esophagitis is seen with oral bisphosphonates most often it is seen with uh, alendronate mainly with the alendronate uh, we can see the esophagitis particularly with the oral bisphosphonates so therefore how it can be prevented whenever you take uh, alendronate with plenty of water and staying upright for at least 30 minutes there is a possibility to prevent the adverse effect called as esophagitis whenever a patient is taking alendronate and uh, second adverse effect is the osteonecrosis of jaw osteonecrosis of jaw right so osteonecrosis of jaw occurrence is pretty rare but it is very serious if it occurs and uh, the main risk factors will be like dental surgery or poor oral hygiene so therefore how it can be prevented is mainly by maintaining a good dental care and also avoiding unnecessary dental surgery right so osteonecrosis of jaw it is rare but it is pretty serious and uh, next will be atypical femoral stress fracture atypical femoral stress fracture atypical femoral stress fracture it occurrence is also very very rare but uh, uh, monitoring for unexplained uh, thigh or hip pain can give you an indication for atypical femoral stress fracture whenever the patient is on bisphosphonates right so these are the adverse effects like esophagitis osteonecrosis of jaw as well as atypical femoral stress fracture but uh, the osteonecrosis as well as atypical femoral stress fracture is pretty rare but esophagitis is pretty common especially with the oral uh, bisphosphonates mainly with the allen dronate so this is what we need to know about uh, the bisphosphonates in treating mainly the osteoporosis and uh, other conditions. Thank you.